if they don't tell us how many days are in a month, then we assume 30, because most of the days in a month are 30. Um, if they tell us we're in October or January or February, then we use whatever it says. But this one doesn't tell us what month, so we assume that there's 30 days. So for the first 15 days, we owed $500. So to find the average daily balance, we take 15 times $500, because for each day, it was $500. Then, after 15 days, how much more did they charge? How much did we charge on our cards after 15 days? 500. 500. So now how much total do we have on our card? 1,000. So we're going to add another 15 days, because it's the last 15 days, but this one's going to be times 1,000. Because we had the 500 that we had to start with, plus our new 500. And then we divide that by the total number of days in our cycle, which, since we don't know, we're assuming it's 30. And this is why I gave you the calculator. You might need that to figure it out. Um, if you're going to type it into your calculator, do the number part, do the top part first, get a number, then divide by 30. Don't type it in all at once because it will... Um, Follow the order of operations and I'll mess you up. Alexandria, what'd you get? 750 is right. Now, if you're not sure, if you, you, know, you can get that. Let me show you how it's typed into the calculator. Right there it is. If you're going to type it in all at once, that's how you have to do it. If you don't put those parentheses around the top and you divide by 30, you'll get a totally different answer. So the average daily balance for that is 750. We good? All right. The next one, there's a couple of assumptions or givens, I guess. The annual percentage rate for this credit card that we're about to talk about is 19.9%. Seems like a lot, but for a credit card, that's about normal. Could be a lot more than that. Honestly, after COVID, they seriously skyrocketed. Um, and uh, it's just like, you know, 24.99%, 29.99%, you know, so. And then we're going to also say, and this is, about right. It just depends on your company. Everybody's a little bit different. But the minimum payment that's going to be due each month is 3% of your starting balance. however much you had to start with when you got your statement in the mail, which is your bill. So for us, we're going to 
And uh, to figure out the minimum payment, we're just going to use 3% in the starting balance. So, number one, we have a credit card bill. And it's $1,275. For the month of October. If you pay the full balance, that means the entire amount, before your bill is due, How much will you pay in interest? Anybody know? Typing away on the calculator. We don't have to do a lot of work. Here's what the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you pay it off before it's due, pay the whole thing off. You don't pay any interest. So those people, like I know people that use their credit cards just for gas. So when they go and they get gas, they just always use their credit card. Which is fine because at the end of the month, they pay the whole thing off. So they don't pay any interest. It only, they only pay for exactly what they bought. So as long as you pay the full amount before your bill is due, then you owe no interest. You pay none. You will only pay $12.75. Now, if not, so if you don't pay it off, in full, then we're going to figure out how much interest it is for one month. 